Hello, welcome to this first basic CADIA lesson. Today, we will learn together the sketch generation and its main commands. The sketcher help us for develop 2D profiles, used later in building solid 3D models. The first step is to launch the sketch command on the sidebar. After this step, it will be necessary to select the plan on which we want to create the profile. It can be selected either directly in the work environment or in the specification tree. Super, now we are in the Sketcher work environment. As you can see now, other tools have appeared on the side command bar. Let's see the most common commands used. The simple line, the continuous line, which generates a series of continuous segments. Here we find the generation of circles or arcs of a circle. And from here we can generate predetermined regular forms. Let's now learn about constraining profiles created in the sketcher environment. We will make a simple geometry. As you can see, this is not well determined and unstable. So let's add some dimensions in order to constrain it. It is very simple. Launch the constraint command and start adding dimensional specifications to the profile. We notice that once the dimensional quota is added, the profile turns green, which means that the respective profile is now constrained. Let's continue constraining the entire profile. Good job. Together we made a completely constrained profile. Now we can accurately modify each dimension of each segment. In the next exercise, we will also use the constraints define command in addition to the dimensional quotas. Let's create a triangle using the continuous line command. We notice that it is totally unconstrained and irregular. Let's start by selecting the base segment of the triangle, together with the horizontal axis of the axis system. And now we start the constraint define command from the sidebar. In the box that appears, select the coincidence action in order to fix the selected elements. And we repeat the process to fix the apex of the triangle with the vertical axis. Good job. Let's now determine the length of the base of the triangle by adding a dimensional constraint. And now, in order to completely constrain the profile, we need the dimensions of the angles. Very good. It wasn't that difficult, but let's try something more complex together. We will start by creating two circles of different sizes, with a certain distance between them. We will use a line to create a connection between them, which will be tangent to the two circles. For this we will use the same commands from the previous exercises. I hope you haven't forgotten them. And now something new. We will facilitate our way of working by mirroring the connection segment. To do this, we will launch the mirror command from the sidebar. And then we will first select the already created segment, followed by the horizontal axis, which will represent the mirroring axis. We are getting closer. The profile must be continuous, so we must delete what is extra. For that, we can use two commands. The first one is the trim command. Once the command is activated, we can select two or more continuous profiles to automatically eliminate the excess between them. Good job! Let's also use the second command, quick trim, where we will directly select the excess profile that we want to remove. Wonderful! You did great! This first lesson ends here. I hope I helped you.
Now is time to practice what you have learned and improve your skills. Do not forget. Exercise and practice will help you to improve.